In this video, we're going to go through the OCR functionality in Odoo. We're going to look at creating a purchase order and then receiving the bill from the vendor via our documents application, utilizing actions in documents to process that bill and use the OCR technology to read in all of the data on that bill and be able to have an actionable record inside of the accounting platform. So we'll go through that flow now. Keep in mind that the OCR technology is a paid service. Um, I have some credits in this trial environment, which you would also have in a trial environment. So that's what we're going to utilize to process um, that OCR piece today. So I'm going to go into one of the vendor bills I've already created, PO number 28 for the vendor My Company Chicago. We have two items on here, raw one and raw two, for a quantity of 10 each and a unit price of five, or rather 10 and five. I'm going to receive some of my units in. So I'll receive five units of each just for this example. We'll save this and validate and create a back order. Now our vendor may send us a bill, um, the full bill or a partial bill, whatever the case might be. And you know, oftentimes you might create a bill from Odoo, but in other times your vendor might just send you the bill either via email, maybe they attach it with, um, with the shipment that comes in or if it's a service, they might just email you that bill. And in this case, we're going to receive those bills inside of our documents application. So on our dashboard here, we're gonna go into our documents. Now inside of documents, you can store and have different work workspaces, which are essentially different folders where you can store documents. We're gonna look at our finance folder and I created an accounts payable subfolder where we're going to utilize uh, this subfolder to process all of our vendor bills. Now you'll see in the, in the middle of the screen here, we say upload a file or drag it here or send an email to this email alias to receive those documents directly into our documents application. I set this email alias up by going to our dropdown next to upload and we're gonna click on share here. If we go to download and upload, you can see this upload email alias. You can set up an upload by email email alias, which I did for ap at odoo-17-accounting.odoo.com but of course that will be your domain that you're utilizing for your database, whether a custom domain or the generated one through Odoo. So once you have that set up, people can actually just, you can have or require your vendors to send all of their bills to that email, which will populate directly in this uh, form here. There are several actions that can be performed based on those documents that come in. So you can automatically schedule activities when those documents come in so that the right people in your accounts payable department are notified that new documents have arrived or on a daily basis, you would come into your accounts payable folder and see if there's any documents to process. You can also, also automatically tag different bills that come in with different tags that you can set up. And based on those tags, you might elect to say, you know, on processed or new vendor bill, and then you can have validated vendor bill so that you can have and differentiate between your new documents that you need to process and the old documents that are already processed. Uh, but the point of this video is just to go through that OCR portion of it. So instead of emailing in to this email alias here, we're just gonna drag and drop a few files on our dashboard here. So I'm gonna drag and drop some files here. And we see that we drag and drop two different um, actions or two different records. Now, once I select one of these, you'll see on the right side, on the panel on the right, we have actions that we can perform. We can move it, we can create a vendor bill, we can create a vendor refund. And what this is gonna do is essentially create a record from this document. Now, you can do this without using the paid OCR technology, and you can just nicely have a reference to your bill and type in the information, which is a huge time saving even without the OCR. If your vendor sends you documents that have extra pieces of information or maybe multiple um, bills on one document, you can use the split icon to the right and break this down, trash the documents that you don't need, or automatically create the vendor bills from the top of our screen. Here I just have one document with one page, so I don't need to do that, so I'll just exit this. Now when all of your documents come in, you can mass select them. So you can hold down the shift key, select all, and then go to the bottom right where we click on create vendor bill. So I'll go ahead and click that now, which is going to automatically bring us to our account.move for our bills. So now we're inside of accounting for the bills that we're processing. The OCR is going to take over and digitalize all of our documents 
if we have that enabled, which we do. So now I can go into accounting, go right to my vendor bills. I'm going to look at just my draft bills. And we'll see my two draft bills. They already have information pulled in from the OCR. I can click on one of these. So let's look at my company, Chicago. And we'll see um, the system did some interesting things for us. So we have the vendor automatically pulled in because we have the vendor in our system here. And if we highlight something, we can see where that information is pulling from. So we have my company, Chicago. We see the date, the date on the right highlighted. We see the bill date was pulled in and we see the invoice date where it's highlighted on the right. We have the accounting date. Uh, that's going to be automatically applied uh, based on when I uploaded this. We have the bill reference. If I highlight it here, we see the invoice number. And we also see that the purchase order was automatically attached and that purchase order was attached via this reference field that's available. Now, a couple of other things to notice is that it actually just said five units of each, right? Even though we have 10 units that we ordered. And that's because on our purchase order, we only received five, so we should only pay for five right now. So if I go to my purchase order here, we see we receive five and that's kind of what it's referencing. So if we said zero, we haven't received any. And the way that we have it set up is we are billed based on received quantities, then this would have automated to zero. So there's an exception here we can verify. Maybe we want to update this. If we received 10 units, then this would have said 10 units. Now, one thing to keep in mind about the OCR technology is that it's not 100% um, accurate all the time. We might have to make adjustments and the OCR is built. Obviously, it's machine learning. It's um, artificial intelligence. It's going to improve over time and, and Odoo is constantly making improvements to it but it does do fairly well with a very high accuracy percentage as long as the data is in some you know, usual format, I would say. We have our payment terms, um, default terms and conditions. So all, everything that we need was pulled in. But more importantly, what I wanna talk about a little bit is that we have our bill to the right here. So even if we didn't use OCR, this would still create a draft record that's just empty and we can fill in the data. And it's super helpful just to reference it to the right of our screen, right? We can see it here, we can enter this information in quick, or we can see a reference to PO number 28 and just autocomplete based on selecting PO number 28 from the autocomplete. So there's a lot of tools that we can utilize without having to pay the extra for OCR, but of course the point of this video is to show off the OCR. So right from here, I can confirm this order and then process my payment or register my payment to my vendor. Uh, more importantly, if we go to our PO at the top, we see that we receive five units and billed for 10 units, and that vendor bill is directly tied to our purchase order. Now I'm gonna go back a little bit to our bills and we have one left in draft. And this one doesn't have a PO attached to it, and it's simply because not all uh, bills that we receive are going to necessarily go through a PO process. It's more common in larger companies, but maybe small companies, you don't necessarily need to um, have a PO associated with a vendor bill. So you can still use the OCR um, for that. In this example, we don't necessarily have a product in the system for a server. So we just have a label here that gets populated. We have a default expense account. Uh, we have a quantity and the system's just taking the total price. Um, here, because we're assuming that it doesn't necessarily matter if we bought two, one, we're just creating a vendor bill. If you want to have it more accurate, we can certainly update this. So here is where I mentioned that we might have to do some massaging of the data, but a lot of that information is automatically pulled in. We have the bill reference here highlighted at the top right of our screen. Um, we don't have this vendor in the system, so it doesn't have a vendor to select. So we might need to create that vendor in right now um, and then process this information. So that is basically all we need to know about the OCR. You will, a couple of other things to reference is that at the bottom of our screen, we see that Odoo bot took over and filled in all this information, which is getting pulled from the OCR. We have our purchase order or the rather the invoice that's attached to the chatter here, which is what we're viewing on the right side of the screen. If we change some of this information and we mess up, we can reload the AI data here. Under other information, we see the OCR uh, code here that is processed in case uh, we need to reference that or create a support ticket or whatever the case might be. This is the OCR portion that it's getting pulled in from. So this is the hash for the OCR uh, call. 
And now we can do that with all of our bills. So our vendor can send us in bills right to our documents application. Our accounts payable team can either be notified via an activity or go in there once a day, process all those bills and quickly create vendor bills and pay our vendors on time.